Hey YouTube, Custoda here. Okay, so second episode of Epithet Erased is on YouTube and I will react to that. Uh, I guess last episode they captured a little girl. That sounds wrong. Don't cut my channel. And that little girl was abused. I don't think I can describe this without risking my channel or me being taken out of contents. And I got Wendy here. She doesn't want to hop over to me, so screw her. And I really want to do some, uh, see whatever cyber deals I can get for Black Friday, so let's get this over with. Uh, really excited to see it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I don't own this. Uh, watch the original. Go on to Verb. OCD's kicking in. Everything's good. Let's go. Oh, poor but girl. What did you mean when you said rob this museum? Aren't you security guards? Isn't that the opposite of your job? Yes. We're not security guards, little girl. That's just our cover. Oh. oh. That explains why your tour was so bad. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's not that I'm bad at tours. There was just no reason to try. He was trying. See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> This already. Only three things we're going to do. Sneak into the museum, find the amulet, and take your epithet. Aw. Does she actually care? Ah. Doing some new settings on the microphone. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up. Speaking of which, I should probably put the volume here so my voice isn't overridden. I like this jazz opening. I should probably change my shirt. I'm starting to stink. I, I'm not giving that much effort at work, so I'm not bothering to change my shirt when I just have to put a coat over it. Bear trap. Oh, right, they're there, too. How did she do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly she used his epithet. Barrier guy's epithet. Loiter outside the mini mall. Shop near the stuff bubble gum. Uh, loitering is a perfectly respectable <laughs> crime. That can be very dangerous. Ow. No, it can't. Ow. You could do it in front of a truck. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't have to be there? He just needs it there? My first mission in charge and I end up captured on top of a pile of my own unconscious minions. This sucks. Hey, tall guy! You could have at least trapped us inside the dinosaur bones. I like how I requested to be buried in my will. Oh, wow. Big deal, but I wrote my last will and testament because I live my life in constant danger. I wrote my last will and testament because life is fleeting and you never know when you are alive. Aw. Uh, you're kind of a bummer. Anyone ever tell you that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, is this the friendship episode? Tall. If my neck were that long, I could see Lady Mira from anywhere. We could never get lost. What tall secrets do you know, Mr. Apotosaurus? Apotosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here while that big guy's distracted by the 
hatched your dinosaurs. Hmm? You heard that lady with the weird eyes. Once she finds that amulet thing, she's gonna steal your epithet. And maybe mine, too. We gotta get out of here. I guess so. What do you mean, you guess so? I don't know. Being a Monday wouldn't be so bad. I could still run the store. Lots of people don't have epithets, and they do, okay? And it sounds like she really wants it, so... What do you mean it sounds like she wants it? What's wrong with you? You can't just give up your cool powers. My powers aren't that cool. Uh, they managed to negate a swing from my soul slugger doom bat of maximum destruction. He let him keep that? You're supposed to take weapons from them. Maybe I've got this feeling that she's actually really strong. Same with that guy over there. Their proficiency is really high. Well, yeah, it have to be. There's doors on the side. You're sitting on top of them. Isn't that a girl? Alright. I forgot her name. I forgot his name, too. I'm bad at names. Bear Trap. I've got it. Your minion name shall be Bear Trap. Ah, he said the name. He said the title. As minion, it's your job to think of a way out of this and do all the work. As your manager, I will wait here and take credit for your success and berate you if needed. Oh, so it's like working in retail. Yeah, you <laughs> Yes. Who? Backstory. Ever since I really? Her teachings so that I may become strong like her. She has taught me many important training exercises, such as training laundry and training doing her taxes. Oh, what? Yeah, taxes too. <laughs> yes. Oh. I have not yet mastered good taxes. <laughs> <laughs> For Lady Mera's teachings, I act as her most trusted bodyguard and right hand man. Okay, so your job is to protect her, right? Yes. Well, Mr. Giovanni attacked her earlier. Yes. But oh boy. Stopped her from taking any damage with my epithet. Yes. So I saved your master for you. That means you owe me a favor. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I like how nonchalant he is. Can't you dumb down the barrier strength or something? Yeah, they're still doing the narrating. Still named Bear Trap. Okay. Can I 
borrow your cell phone? I want to order a pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza sounds great. Thanks. Hi, police. Hello, this is police. <laughs> Stop that! We're not calling the police. I'm a criminal, and you're one of my minions. They'd arrest us on the spot. But I haven't done anything bad yet. Uh, you just broke out of prison. <gasps> oh, we do. Oh my god. Are all these episodes going to take place in the museum? Ah, this weird narration. Like a maiden looking out to sea. Wait for me, my boys. I shall return for you. Why don't we just take them with us? Heavy. You right. <laughs> You're right. Giovanni. Read or die. But wear a seatbelt. Safety is important. Loves each and every one of his minions very oh. Epithet erased. We're back, Lady Mara. New person. Oh, yeah, that guy. I knew he was important when I saw him the first time because he was in the opening credits. He did turn into a cow. What was that? Oh, okay, so that's why Molly fell asleep. Okay. Uh, huh. And what exactly are you interested in, kid? The museum's been closed for hours. I'm not a kid. Aw. <laughs> My name is Dr. Sylvester Ashley. Oh, is he My actually a doctor? Investigating how epithets interact with the person's psyche. I heard your lackey talking about the amulet during your tour earlier, and I was hoping to get a look at it myself. And well, the exhibit's not over yet, so. How about you go home and wait a few weeks like everyone else? Waiting behind red tape is for the general public. I figure there's no harm in getting an academic preview. That's what you're doing after all, isn't it? Uh, right. Uh, but as you can see, my assistant's abilities are a little lacking. <laughs> With all these bonsai blasters running around, I don't know if I'll be able to keep the amulet <sighs> Had someone more competent willing to take care of them, I'd be happy to let you take a peek at the amulet once I found it. So, I apprehend these thieves. Can you give me some time to examine the amulet? Yes, that's right. 
Oh, but they're pretty strong. You might not be able to handle them, kid. I told you before! I'm not a kid. And trust me, if I'm the one dealing with those thieves... This guy seems like a douchebag. ...before they have a chance to make the same mistake. Like... Breath of the Wild, Ravali, douchebag. The bird one. What the heck? Sweet black nail polish. Always chipping for some reason. Her toe's generally broken. It hurts a lot. Bear loops in her ears are like... Oh. Oh, her mom made her bear hoodie from scratch. Did they make a pillow fort? No, they just put a sheet over a bench. Plus, these guys are like our guardians. Part of the Bonsai Blasters, too. Then they need uniforms. You are so right. Molly takes a small sewing kit out of her backpack and starts fashioning the grizzly bear a yellow bandana with the letters BB on it. Oh, you carry around a sewing kit, too, huh? Yeah. My dad breaks a lot of stuff around the house, so it's good to have supplies on hand. Aww. Wait. You so? No. Oh, this is gonna be a weird friendship. So what? Fight about it? No. I just Oh hey, Wendy. Okay, now Wendy wants attention. Come on. He takes out a pair of knitting needles. I wield both the powers of creation and destruction. He flips the needles back and forth between grandma mode and night mode. Like a ninja. What's going on? Oh my god. So there's no skill requirement to enlist. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just thought that also 50 bucks a month. I know, right? It's more than my entire allowance. But it's not so bad. If you get other people to join, you get a cut of their monthly fee. And if you recruit enough people, you actually make money. That sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah, that's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> of course it's a pyramid scheme. They're scamming you. That's how you know it's a legit bad guy group. You know, that does make sense. Is Aren't you like five? I run a toy store, so I have to know about common business practices. You're five years old and you run a toy store? That sounds pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, I'm 12, but yeah. You, uh, you want to talk about it? Giovanni sits down in the fort. And oh, this is turning sweet and weird. Uh, come on, bear trap. Sewing time is bonding time. That's why they call it close knit. Um. My family runs a toy store. My dad makes the toys. And my mom used to sell them. But after she died, oh. my sister kind of just. Wait, sister? The situation. But we still needed to eat and no one was doing anything. So she said sister? There's another one? The resolution go down a bit? You're kind of a pushover, aren't you, Bear Trap? <laughs> I'm sorry. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're doing all this stuff for your dumb family, and you're okay with giving away your epithet because she might need it? What is that crap? Like, it's nice to be nice or whatever, but you can't just let people step on you. You're just as important as everyone else is, Bear Trap. Really? 
Aww. My minion now. Oh, my minions are important. I can't have people stepping all over my minions when I'm not around. You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. Got it? No! How's that? <laughs> nice try. I'm your boss, so you have to listen to me. Not bad, though. We'll work on it. I want yeah. all my minions to be the best they can be. Still got more. When I finally become a super villain, we'll be the strongest bad guys in the world. So, I guess that makes you the bonsai blasters then. Who the heck is that? That boy from earlier. You're trying to steal the Arsene amulet. Isn't that right? I don't go easy on criminals who get in the way of my research. <laughs> Yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Think you can stop us, kid? I'm not a... Why do I even Running call? gag. The boy raises his hand and a hush falls over the world. A golden dust hangs in the air and begins to fall like olive. What's this? Snow? <laughs> oh, why is it yellow? Wait. Uh, Giovanni, be careful! That dust puts you to sleep! Huh? I bumped into that boy earlier. Some of that dust rubbed off on me and I passed out. I thought I was just a like, weird dandruff or something. But I think he's actually inscribed. He must have some kind of sleep epithet. Ha! A trick like that won't work against my team and energy aura! Uh! Steam rises off of Giovanni's body as his soupy energy whirls around him and hits its boiling point. The updraft generates a whirlwind and blasts the dust away in a rush of Oh, damn. That's nice. I guess they're not just your average street punks waving their epithets around. <laughs> Listen up, Bear Trap. Now that we're a team, I can let you in on all of my secret techniques, including my special move. 13 is my lucky number, so every 13 times I get a hit in, I unleash a super attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that super related or... Nope, I'm just awesome. <laughs> I've already got a hit saved up from attacking that lady before, so all I have to do is land 12 hits on him, if he can even survive that long. Counting sheep! He waves his hand and a herd of sheep stampede out of the ether with a chorus of bats! What's going on? He turned into a cow in the opening thing. What is perfect opportunity to use my lava grenade? There are too many of them. The bear trap. Attack! I don't have a weapon! Oh, my bad. Here, take my standard issue bonsai blaster pea shooter. He drops a gun in your hand. Oh god, he gave the kid a gun. Come on, we can take him! Get ready, Bear Trap! Giovanni brandishes his Soul Crusher Bat, which is a regular bat with a knife taped to it! Oh, they're just counting. This isn't so bad. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a sleep attack. Oh, wow. You got a hundred more. Well, what did you just do? How do you do that? How do you turn them off? I dumbed it down to nothing. I can do that with summon stuff. My sister has a summoning epithet and I have to unmake her stuff before it destroys all the other stuff. What? Aww. Can you do that to people? I... I don't know. But... Ah! Bear trap! What happened? I'm sleepy again. Oh, okay. You should be more than groggy enough now. How about we see what you're most afraid of? Uh oh. Fuel. I've got a dream. Paraphobia, huh? That'll do. 
Drowsy. Can little targets sleep and bring their dreams to life? Oh, there it goes. What does that have to do with turning into a cow? Oh, frig. My minions cry except me. I've done this while carrying another person before, but don't worry, Bear Trap. We still have two more minions left on our side. You can't seriously be planning to sprint through that fire. Not quite. The steam Giovanni built up around him bursts from his feet, and he rockets into the sky, landing on the two bonsai bears atop Fort Cool Guy. What the heck? Teleports behind you. Only halfway, but that's still pretty good. See, Bear Trap? We're safe now. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear are here to back us up. Thank you. Don't mention it. You're my minion now. We take care of each other. You might find that difficult in a couple of seconds. Nightmare fuel! Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly, the footing beneath Molly and Giovanni becomes unsteady. An earthquake? No! The bears beneath them spring to life. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear roar. Ah, oh, traitors! At their former comrades. He's taken the only thing I love and turned it against me. Sergeant Bear, what? I should have been promoted to Staff Sergeant Bear ages ago. I could try suppressing them with Hushabye, but not for very long. They're much stronger than the sheep. What do I do? Uh, uh, the sewing kit. Oh, yeah! Well, I can throw the knitting needles at his eyes. I was thinking more like hitting him with a ball of yarn. Right! He's wearing glasses. Much more traditional for just being the nerd. Giovanni scrounges around and pulls out a big red ball of yarn from his man purse. You seriously think you could beat me with a ball of yarn? Not on my own. But when I combine my strength with bear traps, anything is possible. Sorry about this bear trap. Standard minion procedure. I'm used to being taken advantage of. Okay there. Let's maybe raise our standards a little bit. There we go. I might not be the best super villain in the world just yet, but when it comes to baseball, I can't be beat. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, you jerk. Did that do anything? Why is he still standing? All right, that's it. No more Dr. Nice Guy. You forced me to use my ultimate attack. Three big! Oh, there we go. <laughs> is that it? Your ultimate attack is passing out? <laughs> what a dork. Let that be a lesson to you, Bear Trap. Never mess with Giovanni Potar. Don't, don't sniff at the mic. Is great. Uh, Giovanni? Please, please, call me boss. Boss! Yes, what is it, my faithful minion? Oh, he's wearing a kilt, too. Is he Scottish? Dance to the tune, Wendy. I'm shaking everything. No. Yes, yes, I love you. Don't lick them. Okay. Hey, I've been told by our sponsors, Burp, that you can watch the next.
next episodes on Verve right now. Good girl. On Verve. Mm. I get paid every time I say Verve. Click the Verve link in the description to watch them on Verve. Verve, 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 Verve. Not sure how I feel about this uh, Giovanni having an underage black child sidekick. Oh wait, no, Batman could get away with it. I, I guess it'd be racist if I said Giovanni couldn't do it then. Okay, I gotta take care to take this dog out. Watch this. Go get the ball. Wanna go get a ball? And okay. All right, and I'm full of hair. I will see you guys next time.